when you're sitting on the plane and the pilot comes on and says, in a very depressed voice, and this happened just a couple months ago, this happened. Well, the visibility is not too good, folks, there around Kodiak. Wind's pretty high, too, but uh, it's good enough to take off. So uh, we'll get over there, and, and I quote, this is a quote, we'll get over there and we'll see what happens. We, we've got enough fuel to circle for a while, and well, we'll just give it a try. The Alaska woman gets on the plane. Okay. Or, this is the same trip, this, this, this last winter, you're sitting at the airport in Anchorage, which I end up doing a lot, you're sitting at the airport in Anchorage on weather hold now for a few, four hours, and a voice comes on saying, <clears throat> uh, the winds are still pretty high. Uh, we're going to try it, though. <laughs> it's going to be pretty rough. So if you don't like a lot of turbulence, uh, you may want to rebook your flight. <laughs> what does the Alaska woman do? She gets on the plane without a second thought. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you one more. Okay, now I'm really telling on myself. The Alaska woman is resourceful and thrifty. Okay, so a few months ago, uh, last winter, I was wearing black leggings, and I was about to speak, and I noticed I had a hole. The seam right there, there was a hole. And, and of course, my legs are like shockingly white, <laughs> right, snow white, and like you could see, you know, like you could see, so what do you do? Well. What? Oh, exactly! You get a magic marker and you get a spot. Exactly. That's what the Alaska woman does because this Alaska woman doesn't sew. Okay. Yeah. That's what we do.